Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to test the fuel economy with and without the air dam just to see how much of a difference it actually makes. So this is the road I normally take. It's a, like a secondary road. Speed limit is 80 kilometers. I usually set the cruise control for somewhere between 80 and 85 kilometers an hour. So this here is after one week, it said it got 8.5 liters per 100 kilometers. So this was after a week of running with the air dam on. So I fill it up until the pump kicks out and I wait 30 seconds and hit it again until it uh, kicks out again. So the meter in the truck says 8.5 liters per 100 kilometers. I crunch the numbers and it's actually 8.76 liters per 100 kilometers, which works out to be 32 miles per gallon Canadian and 26.78 miles per gallon US. The Canadian gallon's uh, slightly bigger than the US gallon. Okay guys, we're going to remove the air dam and uh, test this tank fuel, see what the mileage is without the air dam on there. I'm going to remove it. I'm not going to film it, but I'm going to time it just to see how long it takes. Okay, I got it all off. It took uh, 8 minutes and 51 seconds. Okay, so this has been about another week, and this is with the air dam off. Uh, the truck says it got 8.8 .8 liters per 100 kilometers. Now, I do the same procedure here. We fill it until a pump kicks out, wait 30 seconds, and then uh, finish filling it up. Okay, like I said, the truck said 8.8 .8 liters per 100 kilometers. And when you crunch the numbers, it was actually uh, 9.28 liters per 100 kilometers, which works out to be 30 miles per gallon Canadian and 25.33 miles per gallon US. That's the difference of about one to two miles per gallon. Okay guys, there you have it. Uh, it wasn't a huge difference, but there is a difference of one to two miles per gallon. I think if you drove on the highway at highway speeds, the difference would probably be bigger. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.